I, if you need to buy stock in a player, buy it in Christoph Porzingis right now. Christoph Porzingis stock about to be like expensive by the end of the year because people are going to be like, this guy came back. And they were using him as a decoy a lot of the times. And even though he, I think he only finished with three assists, he had a double-double. His rim protection looks... He honestly moved, just moving physically. If he had not scored a single point, physically, he is, is moving the best I've seen him move since New York. Second, love Christoph Porzingis with a beard. Kyle Kuzma continued to be the 20-point scorer. Bradley Bill continued to do his thing. The whole starting lineup accounted for, like I think, like 80 points. They looked good. You know, Danny got hurt. He's fine. It's a right ankle sprain. Rui needs to get going. They need to find somebody else than Anthony Gill. He kind of killed the team in the third third quarter, allowed the Pacers to come back. Daniel Gafford's a good backup center. I like Monte Morris and Will Barton. I think right now when I look at this, you know, Christoph Porzingis, I could see him just being on all NBA team member as he's going to average career high assists. He's going to average a double double. I think I just think Christoph Porzingis, the way they were using him as a decoy and he would kick out to the shooters was so good. There was one where he pump faked as if he was going to take a med range from the free throw line and then dribbled, did a crossover and looked left, but was looking like he was going to attack the rim. And as he looked left, he threw it to Bradley Beal who hit a three point shot. I just like, I think they're figuring it out. Still a little bit of questions on defense. Any thoughts from this? Also, the Pacers, real quick. Jalen Smith, Tyrese Halliburton, and Benedict Matherin might be the three cornerstones. Yeah, Jalen Smith was a huge give for him. I agree with Washington. I really like their depth. Like, DeLon Wright and Will Barton come off the bench. I mean, that that's, that, that's some nice depth there. Pacers, dude, Benedict looked awesome. Tyrese looked awesome. Jalen Smith's awesome. I mean, they're still going to trade Buddy Heald to Miles Turner soon because they're going to win some games soon. But, yeah, I like I like the way they're looking right now. I really like Tyrese and Benedict last night. Yeah, no, I thought the, the young guy – this team has a lot of talent in terms of young guys. And I want to shout out, and I don't think the Pacers get enough recognition, and this will be my two cents for the Pacers. They are a great – their scouting department, their general have a great job at identifying and developing talent. Because if you move past Benedict Matherin and Jalen Smith and Tyrese Halburn, I mean, Chris Duarte, he had a quiet night, but O'Shea Brissett, a guy that they developed, okay, is a, is a, and then now Terry Taylor, two guys that were either second round or undrafted guys that they, you know, brought in. Andrew Nemhart, I know he didn't play, but he's going to be a good player for them. And even Kendall Brown, that guy was a five-star recruit. I think they just do a good job of recognizing talent. Yeah. 